When someone has that much body of work behind them, I think it, it, it tends to, to come with a pedigree associated with that body of work that lends itself to people saying yes and nodding heads and going with it. And the same goes with Mick Jagger. I mean, this man's been a powerhouse in, in our world culture, and he didn't get there from making bad decisions. He's a businessman. And, you know, it's corny, but it is show business. And when you have two people that are successful behind you, it eases, it eases um, tensions and fears and doors start opening. What attracted me to James Brown is, as I saw in him, it wasn't so much only a desire to succeed, but I saw in him a fear of going backwards, which I think we can all relate to when we get to a certain point in our life or have been from somewhere that you don't want to go back to. So that really spoke to me, the constant reinvention, the constant need to, oh my gosh, they think I'm cliche, or oh my gosh, someone else is doing this. Oh really? I'm getting ready to up the game. And I thought that was fascinating. We can all learn from that too, whatever we do in life. I mean, you can complain a lot about a lot about about a lot of things in your life, but it's up to you to, if you gotta bring it and reinvent it, you gotta do it. There was no evolution when we began filming. He was James Brown. He didn't have to get comfortable into the role. I don't know how he did it, but he showed up in Mississippi and he was James Brown. He didn't have to, he wasn't rusty and he had to slowly get comfortable. We were, I mean, I'm talking splits, uh, playing age 17 one day, 60 the next day, and he was in it. He is a force to be reckoned with. She makes you feel, you, the viewer, exactly what she, the performer, is feeling. And that pain, I must, I must say, it must be a real pain that Viola is putting herself through. I think that's the difference. There's actors who can show pain, and then there's actresses who can feel the pain, and then you see it. And I think that's what Viola does, but that goes for joy, that goes for happiness. All the emotions that she expresses as this brilliant performer, it's just real. And that's rare. Octavia is the first of the women to have a relationship with James. She plays his Aunt Honey, who historically was a, his aunt in Augusta that ran a brothel, and, um, but was very influential in James' life. Um, very wise woman who, from all accounts, from James's family, and James has written about it, really instilled in him the belief that he was special and that he could do anything. And who else better to be that person <laughs> than Octavia Spencer? I mean, when Octavia speaks, you listen. One of the reasons I wanted to do this movie is I think there's, there are those who don't know much about him who unfairly do not know. I mean, James tells us in, his mo in this movie, he says, you may not know me, but every record you got has got a piece of me in them. And that's the truth. And so it, it, when I think about the people who only think about Saturday Night Live skits, you know, where James is impersonated, or, you know, or, or some of his more colorful moments, and that's their lasting impression, I cannot wait to show them this sexy, dynamic, smart, genius groundbreaker that is James Brown. And that's what our film's about.